Hello, dear friends. Thank you for tuning in on me again. I want to share this brief word with you. And I think it's the word of God. I think it's God's word because I've had difficulty in bringing this word right uh, at this moment. And then all because I've been seeking to do it, though hindered, I feel like uh, the enemy is uh, trying to stop me from bringing this word. But the Lord has said, go ahead. I'm with you. You're coming through. There'll be a word somebody needs. And there'll be a word somebody is waiting to hear. The Bible says over in Psalm 119, verse 163, I, I hate lying, but I love thy word. I hate lying, but I love your word. Now here's something we need to hate. That's lying. And here's something we need to love, and that's the Word of God. I hate lying, but I love thy word. And so it's important that we hate lying. Lying is something that God hates, and uh, we need to recognize it. God hates some things, and we need to hate some things. God hates sin, but he loves the sinner. We need to do that also. As we face the fact that God is our God, teaching us, leading us, to become more and more like him. And so we read over again in the book of, of uh, Colossians, we read the fact that it is important. It says, put away, put off, uh, and put away lying, and put off the old man, which is you know, after sin and ungodliness. Put on the new man, which is created in the image of the Lord God. Now, it says here, put away lying, because lying is of the old man. The old man, dear Christian, the old man was what you were before you were saved. It was a nature, evil nature, that ruled your life. And it ruled because there was no way that you could completely overcome it, because you were born with it. But when you were saved, God took away that old evil nature, and it died on that cross with Christ. And he gave you a new nature, a new spirit. And the spirit now dwells in your soul. And your soul is still capable of sinning because of self. And so you need to deny self and let the spirit rule in your body and in your life. And the Holy Spirit lives in your new spirit. As the Bible says, I will take away the old that evil heart. I give you a new spirit. And I will dwell with you. I'll put my spirit in your spirit. Ezekiel 36. And so we see then it's important to put off the old man, put on the new man, which is created after God. And that's so important. We need to recognize it and live it as best we can. Over in the book of Hebrews, we read an interesting word that, that in the seventh chapter it says that God cannot as it's impossible for God to lie. It's impossible for God to lie because God is so completely holy and completely righteous and completely truth that it's impossible for him to lie and tell not the truth. And so the word of God is truth. It's God's word. And he cannot and will never lie to us. And we need to believe it because it is the truth. And God knows it. And we know it when we walk by faith and trust him. Over in 2 Timothy, in the second chapter, it's a good word there. And it says, that we know that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing. Now, you believe, you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's because you've heard it by faith, and you heard it through the word of God. You heard it by the word of God, and that's why you're saved. You're on your way to heaven because basically the word of God has taught that and you've heard it and you believe it. And you have a home in heaven and you're saved forever because the Bible, the word of God teaches that and you've heard it. And so it says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. The more, the more you hear the word of God, the stronger your faith will be. Read the Bible more and your faith will grow stronger. And so it is that we need to see these things and recognize the truth of them. Over in, in the book of, uh, of uh, Rome, uh, Romans, 
in the 10th chapter, we, we read some interesting remarks, and that is that, that, uh, that we know that we put off the cursing, and we put on Jesus Christ after the Savior is coming to our lives. We're redeemed by love, and we speak the truth in love, and that so honors the Lord Jesus. And so, friend, we need to go back to that truth in Psalms 119. I hate lying, but I love thy word. I love thy word. Over the book again, one more scripture, and over in the book of Romans, it says, Paul is saying, I am in, I am uh, under a uh, prisoner, and I am in bonds. They bound me with bonds, but he said the word of God is not bound. They can bind Paul, but they can't bind the word that he's been preaching. It's going out all over the country. Thank God. I'm bound right now in this apartment where I'm living by this virus that's going around the world, and I'm quarantined. And if I continue to live here, I have to go by their requirements. That means I can't get out and go places like I used to because until this uh, virus is curbed or conquered. And so I have to wait on the Lord and realize that, no, I can't go out. The word of God is going out. I'm in bonds, so to, so to speak, but, but the word of God is not bound. The word of God is going out right now around the world through this little message. It's a message God's given me. It's a message for you. God is saying to you, don't ever give up because I'm here to help you. He's saying to you, go on because I'm stronger than anything you have to face. He's saying, I love you more than anything or anybody could ever love you. So don't turn from me, but turn to me. And let it be yours to walk by faith and trust me and know that my hand is upon you. You are mine. I am yours. Hold on. We're going to get through together. This is the word of the Lord. And God's word is for you. Let love and let power of God's grace be yours today to make you strong, to stand in the gap, fill up the hedge, and live for the Lord. And so it is. And in the blessed word of God, I hate lying, but I love God. How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, as he led in his faith by his bountiful word. What more can he say than to you he has said, to you who for refuge to Jesus has fled? That soul that on Jesus has leaned for repose, I will not, I will not desert to its foes. That law, that soul or hell should endeavor to shake. I will never, no, never, no, never forsake. Amen and amen. Let me pray this brief prayer with you that you might know and feel in your heart you're going to heaven. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Just say, dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen and amen. Find your good church and worship God with his people. And you Christians, it's a good thing to pray and say, Lord, teach me how to hate lying and sin and how to love the Word of God. Amen. God bless you. God keep you close to Him. Remember, He loves you and I love you. Amen and amen.